if these paintings could sing, if these paintings had a voice, what would their voices sound like? The security staff, we're the only ones in the museum, in the galleries at all times. I started to attend a lot of the docent trainings, exhibition openings, curatorial talks. I could have somewhat lengthy conversations with visitors about the histories of different art collectors that have donated their works to the museum or about a particular artist. And then at the end of the conversation, the person will stop and say, oh, Thank you for talking with me. You're so knowledgeable. Are you a curator? And I would always say, no, I'm just a guard. I'm one of the 17 officers that participated in the presentation of the Guarding the Art exhibition at the BMA. I got to see very intimately how each department works in tandem with each other to get a single exhibition together. Being able to talk with people exactly about what they do in their departments was very eye-opening and it made me have a whole new level of interest and consideration for the things that everyone else does. I am a music major, I am a musician. When it came to the decision to participate in this exhibition, I came to that decision not from the perspective of a visual artist, but as a singer asking myself, if these paintings could sing, if these paintings had a voice, what kind of songs would these paintings sing? What would their voices sound like? I want people to see that when it comes to talking with people about art, you don't necessarily have to be a curator or a docent, especially when it comes to working at a museum.